welcome to learn it in the previous topic we have already learned about the meaning and definition of physical education aims and objective of physical education and in this topic we will be taking career options in physical education competitions in various sports at national and international level and khelo india program so without wasting any more time let's get started so today we will be studying the topic 2 of physical education class 11th the name of the chapter is changing trends in career in physical education we will start with the next topic which is the career option in physical education the opportunities in the field of physical education about teaching and training only started from 1990s there are ample employment opportunities for people in the field of physical education due to the increase in interest toward training and increase in number of activities there are two types of career options in physical education the first kind is related to teaching and training of physical education these are called traditional careers also the second kind is related to the careers which emerge out of it related to health management sports, performance and media. Here is some of the descriptions for the careers. In the first line we have in grey zone 5 blocks. The first is the sectors in which training can be done or training has to be given and below it is the levels at which the training can be given to different individuals. For example, there are five training with which it is in teaching sector. Second is in training sector like coaching is. Third is in health or fitness related sectors. Fourth is in performance related sectors. And the last is in media sector. Let us take an example. In teaching sector, there are different levels. At the bottom level, it is the primary level. Then it goes to middle level. It goes to the secondary level, then college and university level, and then finally to the professional institutes, foreign professional federations, etc. In training sectors or coaching is, the coaching can be given in schools, colleges and universities, in various different kinds of institutions also. The companies hire such kind of trainers to coach their staff, which is called industrial recreation. Next is sports facility management and administration for different kinds of administrator purposes people and so on. The next topic is the competitions in various sports at national and international level. Let me give an introduction. India is home to a diverse population playing many different sports. Field hockey is the most successful sports for India at Olympic in which India has won 8 Olympic gold medals. Cricket is the most popular sports in India. Kabaddi is most popular indigenous sports in the country. Other popular sports in India are athletics, badminton, judo, football, basketball, chess, shooting, wrestling, boxing, tennis, squash, weightlifting, gymnastics, and table tennis. Some indigenous sports like Kho Kho and Kabaddi are very popular. Some other sports were originated in India such as chess, leg cricket, snooker etc. which are also popular. Now let us move on to some of the important dates and the responsibilities and some of the federations or the institutions which are responsible for these kind of sports at national and international level. The National Games of India is a national domestic sports event organized organization which has been held in country since 1924 and for developing multi sports culture in India Khelo India School Games an event for under 17 school kids have been started from 2018 as its first edition the political responsibilities for sports in India is with the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports which is headed by the Cabinet Minister and managed by International Sports Federation. 
the only major exception is the bcci which is the administrative body of cricket presently there are more than 70 recognized national sports federations nsf sports authority of india the field arm of the ministry supports and nurtures talent in youth and provides them with different infrastructure appropriate infrastructure equipments coaching facilities and competition exposure sir darob ji tata which is the support of dr dr a g noren established the indian olympic association also known as ioa in 1927 ioa indian olympic association is responsible for the indian continents participating in the olympic games commonwealth games asian games and south asian federation games each olympic and non olympic sports had a federation at the national level let us move to the major responsibilities of national federations what these kind of federations does or do first is to select the national teams second is to recommend the indian olympic association for official sponsorship by them to participate in games conducted under auspices of the international olympic committee olympic council of asia commonwealth games and south asian games federations to supervise conduct of state associations under them they also help to promote the sports and maintain the decorum of the game they also ensures coordination among different state with the sports helping in preparing budget for respective sports or different kinds of sports they also recommend the names for different awards such as rajiv gandhi khel ratna award arjuna award and dronacharya award for excellence in sports they also help in electing the governing body at different different intervals of time they also help to follow the latest rules of international federations decided by the international committees this page in which competition is written is very important in the sense when it comes to objective type questions and in physical education there are 20 objective type question which can make you score a nice and a very good marks so let us take an example or let us take some of the events know about some of the events the first is the first olympic games was held in 1896 the level of competition was known as world game and participants were from all over the world that's why it is known as worldwide the second games was also known as worldwide championships which were held in 1983 which is known as world championship and the participants were from worldwide so there are many kinds of different events which were held in different different dates and the level of competition was different they were from world level to the continental level to the military championship to the regional championship and the participants were from world were from asia america africa india mediterranean sea etc you can just go through it if you want to note it down you can note it down this is the second page for the events which were held and the level of competition and participation if you want me to trace the important one out i'll do that in my next video so let's move on to the next program which is khelo india program it is the latest addition to our course which is it has been changed only in the year 2019 20 and it has been included in this year also so let me give an introduction about the khelo india program the importance of sports and fitness in one's life is invaluable so basically playing sports increases team spirits develops strategies and analytic thinking leadership skills goal setting skills and risk taking skills a fit and healthy body individual leads to an equally healthy society and strong nation sports is an extremely important component of our overall development over our nation india in the last 5 years has made steady progress in the field of sports this tremendous potential needs to be showcased at a global platform it's time we inspire young talent 
गिव दैम टॉप नॉच इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द हाइएस्ट लेवल वी नीड टू इनकल्केट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्पिरिट ऑफ पार्टिसिपेशन इन द स्पोर्ट्स दैट इनेबल प्लेयर्स टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट देयर ट्रू पोटेंशियल ओनली देन इंडिया कैन रियलाइज इट्स ड्रीम्स ऑफ बिकमिंग ए स्पोर्ट्स सुपर पावर द खेलो इंडिया प्रोग्राम हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू रिवाइव द स्पोर्ट्स कल्चर इन इंडिया एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल बाय बिल्डिंग ए स्पोर्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग फ्रेमवर्क फॉर ऑल स्पोर्ट्स प्लेड इन अवर कंट्री इंस्टाब्लिश इंडिया एज ए ग्रेट स्पोर्टिंग नेशन नाउ लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द खेलो इंडिया प्रोग्राम इट वॉज थर्टी फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एटीन बाय अवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एट अ प्लेस विच इज नोन एज इंदिरा गांधी स्टेडियम सिचुएटेड इन न्यू डेली द मेन एम एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द खेलो इंडिया प्रोग्राम इज बेसिकली टू एनकरेज प्रमोट एंड पॉपुलराइज द different indigenous sports and games and those played in the rural and tribal areas of the country basically the khelo india program has been divided into 12 verticals namely are play field development community coaching development state level khelo india centers to be organized to organize annual sports competitions to find out the talent search and development programs to utilize and credit or upgradation of sports infrastructure if any to support the national regional and state sports academies physical fitness of the school children has to be kept in mind to increase the sports for women in promotion of spoils amongst people with disabilities sports for peace and development and promotion of rural and indigenous tribal games let us move to the next topic the khelo india school games which was a part of a khelo india program was first been held from 31st january to 8th february 2018 in in new delhi india under 17 athletes have been invited to participate across 16 different sports which are as follows archery athletics badminton basketball boxing football gymnastics hockey judo kabaddi kho kho shooting swimming volleyball weightlifting and wrestling khelo india program means play india youth games held annually in january or february are the national level multidisciplinary grassroots games in india held for under 17 years school students every year 1000 students will be given an annual scholarship of rupees 5 lakh for 80 to prepare them for the international sporting events the first event held in 2018 which occurs every year the last event was in 2019 its headquarter was at new delhi and the purpose was to find out the grassroots level talent hunt in the first khelo india games small state of haryana included or won 102 medals including 38 gold 26 silver and 38 bronze which is considered a sports powerhouse which was the top team in 2018 followed by maharashtra maharashtra got 111 medals including 36 gold and delhi 94 medals earning 25 golds that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding I, i urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding if you like the video and its content give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section if you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic please write the topic in the comment section i'll sure, surely try to get to you soon so for more of such videos stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to learn it